Welcome back to Caring Hall. There's been a significant amount of progress since the last time we are here in what is such a short period of time of six weeks. It's clear that the development teams that we have on this project are not only able to deliver on time, but they're also able to deliver a high quality product which is befitting of the Manor Collection of Hotels. Robin is going to provide us with a detailed overview of each zone and what's been going on within the phases since the last time we visited. We're now on phase three. So phase three is the latter end of the rooms on the top floor. So what we've got to do on phase three is build us clean, carpet fit, furnitures, beds, curtains, sparkle clean, and they're ready to occupy. So then phase four, which is the last phase, the rooms one to eight, we're just finishing off plastering. Second fixed joinery, electrical, plumbing and eating, then we'll have painting, mist coating, wall tiling, final fix sanitary, then we go into the builders clean again, then fit out date is the 4th of June, zone one, the main hall, part annex, three bedrooms, six rooms in the cottage, which is zone three, they'll all be complete for around about the 16th of June. After those zones are completed, the next stage is to start works on the main annex building. Strip the roof, can't have the bats roosting after the end of April. And we're hoping to start works on the annex August, September. The main challenge has been to get all the data cables and all the new copper piping into the individual rooms. So we reduce the ceiling depth, uh, all the pipe work and all the electrics are in that ceiling which you can't see. Before we did anything we met with the conservation officer Hugh Davis because we've got uh, the existing covens which because it's a listed building we can't remove those. What we did we created a gap at either end of the wall to be able to leave them in place and see those and I'm pleased how they've turned out. The other challenge really is we had to get X number of rooms ready for the wedding venue which we achieved. John and his team did a fantastic job in coordinating the works. He's had a good team of lads around him. We're now looking at a finished product or a nearly finished product that we all can be proud of. It truly is wonderful to be here on site with the development teams to see the level of progress that these guys are making. We're excited now as we move to part three and see how these guys wrap up the main hall and take the teams out and into the other zones within the project. So join us then.